हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज राहुल पांडे एंड टुडे आई विल टीच यू द फर्स्ट पोयम ऑफ क्लास एट द एंड एंड द क्रिकेट ओके सो अ फेबल इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ एन विद एनिमल्स एज करेक्टर्स दैट कन्वेज अ मॉरल ओके दिस पोयम अबाउट एन एंड एंड अ क्रिकेट कंटेन्स एन आइडिया ऑफ फॉर रीचिंग सिग्निफिकेंस विच इज अ ट्रू ऑफ अ फोर लेग्ड क्रिकेट एज अ टू लेग्ड वन surely you have seen a cricket that has two legs first stanza just see a silly young cricket accustomed to sing through the warm sunny months of gay summer and spring began to complain when he found that at home his cupboard was empty and winter was come not a crumb to be found on the snow covered ground not a flower could he see not a leaf on a tree okay so in the first stanza once upon a time there was a cricket means or or a grasshopper and he was accustomed to sing he was accustomed to sing means he used to sing a song all the time means in all the weather in winter in summer in rainy season means he was accustomed to sing all right and what happened began to complain when he found that at home his cupboard was empty means during winter season all right whenever he found that his larder became vacant and he had not grain to eat and winter was come and he was very hungry oh my god he began to think that now what shall i eat i had not any means corn in my larder not a crumb to be found on the snow covered ground not a flower could he see not a leaf on a tree he went outside okay and he began to observe the weather the condition and he saw that there was a not a piece of bread okay on the snow covered ground there was a snow on the ground because winter season has come and he also saw that not a flower could he see there was no any flower on the branches of a plant okay not a leaf on a tree and the tree was leafless so dear students oh what will become says cricket of me the cricket the grasshopper became very sad and he began to think that now what shall i do from where shall i get my food okay after that in the last at last by starvation and famine made bold okay and all dripping with wet and all trembling with cold away he set off a misery and okay to see if to keep him alive he would grant after that when he uh, thought that now i will die due to starvation so an idea came in his mind okay he went outside and he began to see that where the ant was means he began to search the and because he was sure that the ant was a very laborious creature so the ant should have corn or uh, means a table in in her larder okay to see off to keep him alive he would grant that is why he thought that i will have to find out ant him shelter from rain and a mouthful of grain he wished only to borrow he would repay it tomorrow not he must die of starvation and sorrow okay after that when he went near the ant and he began to request with ant that hello please give me food i am so hungry i need food okay to eat him shelter from rain and a mouthful of grain and he began to request please give me some grain to eat i am very hungry he wished only to borrow and he said that i am asking i am begging some corn from you as a borrow and whenever i will earn okay i will give it to you i will return you that is why he said that he would repay it tomorrow if not he must die of starvation and sorrow and he began to say with dejection that please if you you will not give me corn i will die i will die 
with starvation that is that is why he was very sad all right what was the reply of the ant after listening this situation just see students says the ant to the cricket i am your servant and friend means the uh, um, ant said that oh very good you are very hungry oh but let first of all tell me that i am your servant or friend tell me let me clear first of all but we ants okay never borrow we ants never lend and the ant told the grasshopper about her principle that what was the principle of the ants the ants replied that hello the ants never borrow it is our principle that i never borrow to anyone okay nor i lend so how shall i give you borrow first of all tell me but tell me dear cricket did you lay nothing by when the weather was warm tell me the ant asked the question that what were you doing what were you doing okay during summer season okay you should collect corn in your larder to eat during winter season so what were you doing at that time tell me first of all oh quote the crickets not it the grasshopper replied that please pardon me please forgive me i did not do anything during summer season okay the grasshopper said that my heart was so light that i sang day and night for all nature looked gay you sang sir you say the grasshopper replied that during summer season i found that the weather was so nice that is why during summer season i used to sing a song sitting on a blade of a grass it was my habit i used to take entertainment of the summer season that is why i sang day and night i used to sing a song during summer season for all nature looked gay because during summer season when i observed the nature i felt that oh what a lovely weather i should take a complete enjoyment of this weather that is why i was singing oh good you sang sir you say the ant replied means during summer season you used to sing a song oh very good go then says the ant and dance the winter away and the ant replied okay no problem if summer season if you were singing a song so what is the problem according to my opinion now it is a winter season so you should dance also during winter season so dear students just see what a classic answer the ant replied to the grass hopper that during summer season you were singing no problem okay now it is a winter season so according to me in this winter season you should dance you should sing both work you can do okay in this season thus ending he hastily lifted the wicket and out of the door turned the poor little cricket fox called this is a fable i shall warrant it true some crickets have four legs and some have two so in the last stanza okay the poet told us that it was the ending of this poem hastily lifted the wicket oh means after listening the answer the grasshopper found a very nice suggestion by the ant and fox called this is a fable i shall warrant it a true the poet says that means after listening this reality this poem many of will believe that no it is a story not a true but the poet says that i shall prove it i can prove it it is a true about the grasshopper that some crickets have four legs and some have two the in the last lines the poet uh, means express the quality the physical appearance of the grasshopper the poet says that there are some cricket who have four legs and some have two legs so dear students it is the end of the poem okay class 8
poem number one honey to your book the end and the cricket all right now from tomorrow onwards i will teach you the next chapter okay goodbye and have a nice day